Hey, 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 Danny here from Sigbiker Studio. Today I'm showing you how to make these really cool overlays with different types of data, geometrics data, like the speed, the elevation, temperature, power output, cadence, heart rate, uh, whatever you, 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 you are able to, to record from your device during cycling, uh, running, jumping, skiing, flying, uh, or just riding, driving your, your car, you will be able to make these movies. Um, I'm gonna show you step by step how to do it. It is fairly simple. Uh, you only need one software for that uh, reason and it looks so, so cool. Uh, it's, it's cool to watch what, what we've been doing uh, on the bike, on, on, on your airplane. Uh, but also for analyzing uh, how you did your race, for example, this is pretty interesting. I do like it. So this is uh, one of this is the last session uh, I uploaded to my to my channel. And you've been asking about how to make these overlays. I'm gonna show you step by step. Uh, it's as I said easy, but if you don't follow me, uh, you can just get stuck in different places of this software. So you need Verb Edit. If you type in Verb Edit on the on your uh, browser. Um, search you're gonna find this website this is Garmin's uh, software uh, both for your Windows PC and your Macintosh uh, and you don't need uh, for that reason to use a Garmin bicycle computer it can be any computer uh, which will generate GPX or FIT feet um, data and uh, yeah, you don't need also the Garmin uh, camera. You can use GoPro, you can use eye contacts, you can use whatever uh, camera you have. So this is uh, my movie, my video made with the GoPro 4 and my Mio Cyclo bike computer. And it's been working just great for me. This is the newest version. I just um, um, updated this one. It looks pretty cool and it's fairly easy. So let's start. First off, this is how the software looks like. This is the editing software. You can also edit videos here, but you can also make those uh, overlays. So let's just start by creating a video. Let's say you've been doing some jumping, my jump, whatever. Create video. So that's it. You can use your last import or you can import clips and photos for the, for the video. Uh, the importing can be done directly from your verb device. I don't use verb device, so I am importing some other. Uh, this is, for example, my training session. Let's just take a piece of it. Okay. Now, import only or copy clips. I only import. I don't want to create more, more folders, more, uh, more data on my computer. And now the optimizing starts. It takes time. It, it's not necessary. I never optimize. So if you just click cancel, nothing wrong happens. Uh, you have already imported the file, but you don't need to optimize. Okay, so the import has been done. You can see our last import and now we just drag it right here. It works pretty much like the basic video editing software. It will be asking us about optimizing clips uh, at each step. You can simply mark here, don't show this again, and, and then click uh, not now. I'm not marking it just so that you see uh, how often it will ask you for that. So this is my training. Okay, I can see what I've been doing here. And then the other source of the data is your computer. So bike computer. Uh, we go for the G metrics here. Uh, and then we need to click geometrics once again so you don't go for the gauges but the geometrics once again and guess what you need to click it once again so import geometrics i don't know why is it so but it's just like that uh, you can import the the folders the data uh, directly from the bike computer if it's uh, on your computer uh, if it's connected to the computer or you can first copy the files to your computer for example the gpx or uh, feed file uh, I already have mine in the in the folder with my fourth session and that's what I do I just click open and it's here uh, GPX or fit uh, GPX worked very well when I was using Garmin Edge uh, computer I had the 520 uh, but for my Mio Cyclo the fit works better so you need to just work it out 
uh, and then we click use this lock you can you can choose what types of data you want to have there is these are the data that my computer uh, has been recording during during that session let's just use this log now I don't want to optimize the clips okay uh, it will it will just give you some idea of what uh, what gauges you can have but you can simply delete those gauges so delete this one delete this one and this one and th I don't know what this frames uh, this frame means uh, you don't have to delete this one uh, because it won't be visible but just maybe it will it will export better faster so just delete this one and I don't want to have Garmin logo here delete so all deleted now I'm going for the gauges what type of uh, type of data you want to have you, you can see how many different types of data you can have here so your elevation speed let's say speed one of the basic ones and then different gauges it, it can look like this it can look like that and then you simply drag it to your uh, video and this is how it's gonna look like it is so simple now if you click the bottom right corner you can enlarge it minimize it you can also rotate one so this is cool this is really really cool uh, then different colors so the background can be no background it can be transparent like this it can have different colors you decide it is so easy uh, to to make it your own different colors for the graphics different accents okay this is how it looks like right then um, you can drag as many gauges probably as as you want to have on the screen here you can then save your overlay uh, as uh, as the template I already did mine so let's just see what I did this is how it looks like mm, yeah I'm gonna just cancel this one and go for my ones so my ones um, all right so these are my gauges this one I didn't I didn't uh, delete this one but it it doesn't appear on the video you can now just simply click the set activity start time but if you were just uh, choosing gauges by yourself without overlays this would this wouldn't happen uh, this wouldn't pop up so I'm gonna ignore it and show you how to how to um, synchronize the G metrics now okay so we are in the G metrics we have already the gauges and then we go for the data and G metrics sync why do we need to synchronize it? Because uh, we started riding, we started the race or we finished the race, we started jumping or, or running and we also uh, switched on the bike, the computer at some point, right? So we want to have the starting point for the computer and for our movement at the same time. You can use it, uh, you can do it in two ways. This is my video and this is my Gmetrix data. Uh, here is how, how you will be synchronizing it. So uh, let's say you see when you are pushing the start button or you just see when you are starting. This is not, I not, didn't start, I didn't start here. Let's say I started right there and the power output is already there. I don't want it to be like that. So I just simply um, drag this, uh, this little dot to the beginning if this is my beginning it's not my real beginning I'm just showing you as, a, as an example you can also go to the end and if you have recorded the moment when you push the stop button then you will simply drag this one to the end so the last second of recording data will be the moment when I'm pushing the stop button so this is also one of the tips while you are recording your uh, your video it's good to have it on the on the camera the the moment uh, otherwise it can be a little bit tricky then you, you need to compare for example the speed or when you take the turns maybe you will see on the geometrics uh, data then and uh, and we'll be able to synchronize it so once it's uh, is in sync we are clicking done and once more not now and this should work right now it doesn't work right here because uh, I didn't really synchronize these are different files this is just the example but now you should be able to see when you stop it's zero when you go it's showing something right and when you when you push the stop button uh, it stops right this is how how this should work for you 
important step here is the menu, menu and the settings. Uh, of course, you can uh, choose the resolution. I'm using the full resolution and what type of uh, metrics you want to have. Kilometers, miles, um, inches, centimeters and so. Uh, then media, uh, let's go for the G metrics. It doesn't matter here, but this matters. The encoder and decoder. decoder. Uh, on the newest version, you can use uh, this option, detect settings for optimal performance. So it will detect probably your your uh, software and then you can save it. But then on my previous version and previous old laptop, I needed to experiment with this because on some encoders, um, I would be able to export only files um, up to four gigabytes. So not larger, and if I'm exporting a full race, it will be six, eight gigabytes or more. Uh, and also sometimes the exporting would take two days, for example, of a one hour race or one and a half hour race. So then experiment with these. Uh, on some forms you would see that Media Foundation is the best one, but then uh, the, the fastest one, but then maybe it will only allow you to use the four gigabytes uh, files. Uh, so I just use the uh, this option and it works for me. So let's say 40 minutes of the training session, it will be exporting. It will be exporting on my computer right now. About I don't remember exactly about 30 minutes or so. So a bit, bit shorter than the length of the video, which was uh, 30 FPS, so 30 frames per, per second. And this is important. So this setting is important okay don't don't you need to mess up a little bit with this at the beginning we'll start with this automatic system cool uh, then we go back to ver no we just save okay so let's say i saved not now and once we have um all this here in sync this looks just as we want it to look that's cool then we push the export and then this was my uh, resolution, uh, full uh, HD. So I'm using full HD. Uh, you can use less if you want. I'm not sure about using more, but there's no sense of doing that, I think. So 30 frames uh, per second, and then the target quality. As you can see, maximum quality will give me the one gigabyte folder. And sorry, my phone uh, and the minimum one so the low will be one quarter of it so two uh, even less uh, about 216 megabytes so that's the difference it, it just estimates how big the folder will be then you choose the location and you're good to go one thing here as a default uh, the verb will will put you some uh, intro and out outro or whatever some some uh, some logo of the verb you just you just uh, you just choose none if you don't ha want to have any verb thing on the video thank you garmin for doing this uh, and then just hit the export button on the newest version i need to do it twice so the second time it works and then if you see zero percent for let's say five minutes uh, that means uh, something is wrong. You have to cancel it and go back to to the settings. As you can see, this should already show that it's uh, exporting. And I, I don't know why. Maybe I've changed something with the uh, yeah media settings. So uh, once more, maybe I've changed something here and saved it. I think I've just pushed cancel. But let let's just see. Save it. Maximum. Okay, branding none. Uh, I'm gonna overwrite the file. Okay, and and this is weird because uh, on these settings it should go really fast. So you see, some okay, it's it shows already. Okay, one percent. That's cool. That's cool. So it works now. I, I changed something probably two percent. So as you can see, uh, this is working. I'm just gonna cancel it and that's it so i think all the problems you may you may um, meet on the way uh, i just showed you here so you know in in what order what steps you need to take have fun putting all these overlays and analyzing uh, your your activities because this is so interesting guys thank you so much i hope that you will share some of your videos do it and don't think i'm gonna i'm gonna cancel the comments with the links to your youtube 
uh, channels. Not at all, guys. Do it, and and I really, I'm really curious what what you will be able uh, to to show me. Thanks so much, and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.